Oh yeah, I do want to go get Churu, but obviously I'm not going to disturb this situation here. You know. But there will be a Churu feeding time at some point. Yeah, I, sh I should have made myself a sable cloak. I've just been really busy the past few days with, you know, trying to catch up. With Cube trying to catch up on the comic and such. <laughs> I'm sure I would have other uses for a, like a headdress mantle kind of thing. Like that one hat that I had for a while in Elden Ring that made it look like I had cat ears. Ooh. Ooh. Hey, fa. Hey, 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 hey. Break it down now. But yes, this is, this is my, my appropriate shirt, my Squish That Cat shirt. It came out much larger than I realized. It turns out that I could I could go a size smaller or two with, with their sizing options if I end up buying another TKO shirt. <laughs> no, I didn't draw it. Hempley drew it. See, it, 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 it's, it's... Wait, oh. It, it, cat and then it gotta, gotta squish that cat. Gotta squish that cat. <laughs> My one of a kind Baba merchandise, Baba Melanie crossover merchandise. I, I keep trying to move the fan as if it's the camera. Okay, I mentioned that I want to start starting the streams with a churu feeding. So I need to go get churu for the babies. Be right back. I have faith that they will realize what's going on. Oh, it's already time for alien eyes. Oh, alien eyes. Oh, don't you beat. Oh yeah, I made a throne. I, I only put like four things on it and I, and I still need to link it on my thing. But I'm just gonna ask for like a bunch of churu on it. You have to, you have to keep keep these babies full of churu every stream delicious <laughs> oh here he come here he come Freya be really nice if Freya come Look at this fucking guy. Oh. Yeah, Taro's an adult. He's a big boy. You you got kind of you kind of got your claw in my flesh, and I would like if you did not. Thank you. <laughs> to calm down. And give some to friend. Give some to friend. Oh, you're looking at my throne. Yeah, I, I, I added some of that like wall padding. It's interesting because I'm like I've definitely seen this exact sound padding squares on other streamers. These must be the ones that everybody gets because they're nice and cheap. But yeah, I would put them over on on that wall because sometimes I can hear my neighbor talking through that wall, which I assume means that he can hear me being fucking annoying. A little more for fun. Rain just like attacks it such that the it spills somewhere because she's too desperate. <laughs> the Markiplier squares. Possible. They're, they were like black and, and purple. I need to go throw this away and also wash my hand because now I got some chudu on my hand. Here, is there any more? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, be right back. <laughs> Thank you. 
I, I don't have a super loud voice, but I do have like, I, I think my voice tends to kind of resonate somewhat loudly. Also, thank you um, for the off-screen follow from Jacob Aaron Bourgeois. You know, like, I'm not like, I'm not like bread doing an ASMR voice. Hello. Hello. I could be, though. If it would get me more followers, I would very, I would be very willing to do a, a nice, calming ASMR voice instead. If it would make you, you know, support me or whatever. No, I wouldn't be able to keep that up. I would get too excited. Thank you very much for the follow, Own oh, Nose 12. Shit, it must have been my hot ASMR voice that did it. <laughs> I mean, oh shit, it must have been my hot ASMR voice that did it. <laughs> You son of a, son of a, son of a. I mean, you son of a, you son of a bitch. Fuck you. Fuck you, you little shit. I will get you. You will not escape me. Shit. Thank you. It's just a fucking kicker. It's just a little kicker. They ain't even worth shit. Fuck. <laughs> oh, that makes sense. Perfect. Perfectly at the roots. Now why was that kicker so much easier to, to catch? <laughs> what the fuck? Alright, so... Oh, you can't fast travel to the worm? Oh, wait, never mind. That's... Something else over there. We don't know what that is yet. The worm. Well, thank you very much. So, I know now what you're supposed to do in the worm. I need to read the diary again to see if there was a decent hint about it in there. But I went ahead and read a spoiler that Sicko posted because I don't think I would have figured it out. So we just got to get back up on this worm. Oh, it's fun. Oh, it's fun. It is interesting that in this specific setting, it's not just like, like there's big worms, but then there was also big whatever the fuck that was and such. <laughs> like there are other giant creatures. They just don't quite have the iconic brands recognizability of being a worm. Well, yeah, we're... What, we're at, like, two and a half years now? I've been streaming. Oh, we have to work our way a little more towards the side. Time! Indeed. Oh, are they? Spoilers! Because, like, you know, they, they refer to this as the worm. So I kind of assumed that they weren't, you know, I, I figured if they're still running around all over the place, they wouldn't call this one the worm. Shit! Oh, oh yeah, I'm wearing the cartographer mask because it's silly. It is silly and pleasing. Map nerd mask. Alright, we gotta get up under the necky. Or around the necky. Where'd friend go? Where's my friend? Oh, maybe. I might have forgotten then. But I hope so. Look, it's possible I'm misremembering things. Oh, and there's the platform that I was talking about before. That that plateau over there. That's where we weren't able to get yesterday. 
I have not figured out how to get up there yet, if it isn't just a matter of me needing more stamina. I have taro hair all over my face now. It's not like on my mic, uh, on like the fuzzy thing around my mic, the like spit guard is like taro hair. <laughs> he goes so crazy for the churu. <gasps> my taro! My taro! Oh, my taro! Taro! Come here, taro! Daisy, did you see my shirt? Were you here to see my shirt? Check it. Check it out. Check it out. Fashion. 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 <laughs> Made by the creator of Baba is You. Look at his fucking tail. Important Paul. What is your favorite wrong way to spell worm? I am fond of WRM. But WARM is a rare and a dog. <laughs> Round a dog. Okay, so here, I want to read this again to see if it had a proper hint about what we're supposed to do. <laughs> there is true. It was consumed by this idiot and also friend. I think he just went after Fran to bother her. <laughs> okay, here I am. You told me you look to the bar. Yeah, and this person's like thinking about ending their lives. Yeah. Okay, no, this this diary has no hint about what you're supposed to do. I don't know if somewhere else in the game gives you a hint, but apparently, you have to whisper. You have to whistle. Oh yeah, he never has chill. Whoa! Gross. Oh, but it's still like alive. That's interesting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. More written notes. It seems they managed to get inside too. Anna, I'm inside. I got inside, and I see now in this gaping darkness why Perausta beckoned me. There's a secret here she wished me to know, and it's so much more than I ever imagined. This place, this creature, she is alive. Not in the way of you and I know, but in the way of slow and aged things, breathing and thriving at a pace invisible to those who live as quickly and briefly as us. Like a wise old tree or a map of mushrooms below the earth, living and decaying all at once for centuries, she is alive. I think I can press on and go further in. I don't know if I can return the way I came, but so few stories are told of those who walk back along their own footsteps. I will find a way through to the other side. There are a few scraps made unreadable by wear, but I find a later entry that is just about legible, though it took me several reads and a few missteps to sort it out. The word gurgling stops me for a moment, and I see it as giggling and grinding before it makes sense. I have a been camped here for two days now, Anna. It is warm in here, and the air is old and damp, but there is a nice salt in it, too. My skin feels better inside the place than on the unforgiving dunes. Why would you just get right inside and then stick around for a couple days? <laughs> in my explorations, I have dropped some unimportant things down into Perausta. Rocks, small and large. A beetle. Also, he officially thinks of she is Perausta, the worm. <coughs> I wonder, should I descend further and go below myself? The voice of Perausta calls to me, but she is drowned out by other noises of rushing water and a deep, resonant gurgling. It all sings, and more and more I yearn. There are lines of scribbles over whatever was written next, and then it resumes. What have I got to lose? I will leap into the darkness. If I don't return, then know this. I love you, Anna. Oh, my I like you very much. So if you whistle, it makes it like little chunks of its own meat appear. And that causes it to unclench its sphincter. Okay. 
gastric bypass, traverse a hidden cavern. Yeah, I sure feel like I should be getting digested right now. In <laughs> boxes. Classic. Oh, ho, ho, ho. A worm. A worm. <laughs> oh, the sounds. Oh, there's probably one more diary. Sure. Worm butt money. Why not? This is from... Oh my, from... Her gaping maw yawned. Oh, not the butthole. Not yet the butthole. This has very Jabu Jabu energy. Which makes sense. Fucking Zelda nerds. <laughs> Are you taking up your, your little companion position? How far can I throw this meat chunk? Pretty good. Oh yeah, so tomorrow I might have some new babies. One of them apparently has super fucked up eyes that are going to have to be removed at some point. But, but he's doing very well otherwise. Oh wait, I think that's where I came in. And, and the other is just like normal. They were all from a hoarding situation that was pretty bad. Yeah, but he's getting along. And you know, with, with the right help, he'll, he'll do just fine as a blind guy. Yeah, yeah. So he might look slightly terrifying. But also, I'm excited to meet him. His name is Ollie, which is very sweet. You will be my little nightmare child. Let's see. Two things. If cats can teach us anything, it's that being baby and being terror are not, not mutually exclusive. This piece is damp and mold creeps at its edges. Anna, I have fallen so far down, slipping and sliding, plunging for an eternity. What things I saw in the blur of the walls as they sped past me. I mean, it's not, I wouldn't call it an eternity. <laughs> what secrets I have heard in the whispers of the rushing wind. Anna, 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 if you could only know, if you could only see. But Peralsta's voice is not for all to hear. At the end of my fall, I found myself in a new world, and I have lived in this place for half a day now. <laughs> this guy needs to calm the fuck down. Everything is like, I've fallen for an eternity. I've been here for so long. Blah, blah, blah. Anyway, I spent half a day here. <laughs> And I see now why she called to me. She is a god, but she is crying for help. <laughs> it's a completely different place than the last sphincter I was in. Super duper different. Oh, and then I'm gonna have to throw it through the sphincter. Because technically sphincter doesn't specifically refer to the butthole, right? It's like a kind of organic opening. We just mostly know it as a butthole thing. 
So these are sphincters. Whether or not they are but whole. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What? I am... I'm a learned cat. I found another excerpt from the diary. Anna, I live, but it is a sorry life. I have lost her voice down here, like five feet from where I was so happy. <laughs> and now it is only dampness and rot in the silence. A single drip at the end of a tunnel hits like... Also, I like that these are all separate diary books. Like, how many books did he come in with? <laughs> Why aren't they scattered pages? <laughs> uh, a single drift at the end of a tunnel hits like it stops abruptly halfway through a sentence and when it resumes the script appears hastier than it ever was. Anna, you will not believe it. Oh, my love, my cherished one, that was a secret. It is when I am lost that she finds me, Anna. For what is Perausta but a helper of those in need? What a fool I am, how stupid. Maybe... Is, this is just like a hunting instinct that sends like pheromones to weakened prey. <laughs> I quite nearly gave up, but I've heur just heard her again. I know what she wants. She is so, so homgy. Hell yeah, she just want to eat at you. Guess like gatekeep girl boss. I do like the idea that he would write a few passages and then set that book down, open, waiting for someone else to see it. Start the next book. Okay, wait, so there's a big one down there. Oh. Perouse degree die. Oh no. Oh, but there's also ones here. Hmm. <gasps> More treasure. Oh, there may be be time to get there. Finally, I can make my dick bike look like a worm sphincter, as God intended. Bless Prousta. Slice. This this requires being sliced. Come on. <laughs> I know this kind of structure in a video game. Like those fucking clam things in that one water level of Star Fox 64. Don't get digested. Oh, don't get digested. The buttons are right next to each other. Walk. Oh. <laughs> but treasure. I guess I just need to read that. Plunk. Alright, Goofus, now what do you want to say? A new note written in a shaky, childlike script. My heart goes cold at the sight of it, like I have seen something too vulnerable and cannot help. So the camels were not enough, Peralsta? What more do you need? I have given you my all, and still you ask more of me. 
Oh, you are a beautiful and exquisite god, but you are also a needful and tricky one. I am catching wise to your true meaning, my beloved. I will give you what you ask without boundless weeping, oh, with boundless weeping joy. So yeah, it is like a cordyceps kind of vibe. Excellent. Well done, worm. Not super efficient, though. You're, you're going to need a lot more meat than that, I think. I guess you're saving a lot of energy by no move. Hmm. Will I make it? Can I make it? Oh, it is tricky. Let's see. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, look look at all this gusha goosh in it's doing. That ain't that ain't free. <laughs> oh my tower right now. Look at my A worm. God, I love you. I love him very much. See, Taro is just like this creature, it, it, but he uses a toxoplasmosis instead to make me feed him and devote my all to him. Is there a way I can make this get here a little delayed or something? That might be enough time. Yeah. Simply go through this nice, convenient fistula. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> <Hmm. gasps> I see you. Okay, okay. Hmm. Ah. This one might be a little more complicated. Fucking look at him. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. He is made of love. God damn it. I love him so much. Oh, to have such an amazing creature that just sometimes comes up to me and says, What is up? A true blessing. So that's just gonna lower that shit again. Wait, is that where I came from up there? I might be going about this the wrong way. Okay, I came from up over there. Okay. Hmm. 
<laughs> What's up, Tower? Jesus Christ! Dark in my lap, can we turn? You never want to come in my lap nowadays. Are you going to go for my lap? Whatever! Get ready for the ride. <laughs> Can I like get up to one of these? <laughs> hmm. He's so cruel. Okay, so we go here. There's this shit, right? Come here, come here. Yeah! Oh, you took a screenshot. Well done. Very professional computer user. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm just doing this again, obviously. Very mysteries. So there's that sphinct. Oh, different way. What the fuck are you doing? Creature. Mysterious creature. If only there was another way to get down there. God, look at that. Look at that shit. A worm. <laughs> what a fucking idiot. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> Don't mind me, Taro. Don't mind me. You do you keep doing whatever the fuck you're doing. Hole here, thing there. Oh, my God. See if it keeps peeking down there. Ah. How long does this last? Oh, I see. The game may be sable, but baby cam makes me stable. <laughs> Thank you very much for the sub Sunday morning. Oh my god. 
No! Don't throw in the cord! An idiot. Ooh. Maybe like a shrine for sacrificing yourself. The shrine, if it can be called that, sends chills down my spine. I feel in the presence of something, but whatever it is, it is no good. No god. There is something carved in a piece of wood, and it reads like an incantation. I submerged myself, Peralsta, into the depths of you, of my body. Build yourself that you might live anew. Above the incantation sits a mask, repulsive and scarred. It looks to be made of a baby sandworm. Are the teeth in this mouth real? In the darkness, I listen, trying to hear whatever the writer believes was Peralsta's voice. There is nothing. Give me that mask. I reach forward and take the mask from the stand. I step away from the platform. I look for a way out. No, that's not what I do immediately. What I immediately do is put on that motherfucking sweet mask. Fuck, oh my god, it's wiggly woobly. Nothing is more important. Oh god, it even makes gooshy noises. Oh god. What? Oh, he might have bumped the cords one sec. <laughs> you son of a bitch. There, does this sound like it did before? Oh, it looks like it's even louder now, weirdly. <laughs> yes! Nah, Souffle was the one who went into heat and caused a bunch of problems for me. Oh my god, look at this fucking face! Are you serious with this goddamn face? Are you serious? How can you be serious? How is that possible? How is it possible? Beautiful. He's distracting as fuck today. <laughs> I regret nothing though. Or are these eggs maybe? Towel. Towel. When they're glowing like this, kind of look like nipples. Just a little bit. Yeah, your nipples don't glow? Skill issue. I do have a piece of taro merchandise I am trying to start working on, along with, you know, my 50 other things I'm constantly working on. Saw, you already know about it, but don't pretend you don't. Don't pretend you don't. This time it made the, the gastric juice go up -y. Ha ha! Perfect. Three pointers, nothing but net. This, whoa, I guess it's like perfectly two-dimensional as a texture, so as soon as you go... <laughs> oh. Must 
people buy merch to start giveaways and chat. I have not, but obviously, I mean that that seems much more like bigger audience thing. I, I did mention I've I've just looked into Throne for the first time, and I made one, and I'll link it on my Twitch page at some point. Oh, Glorm, and it's mostly just random cat stuff. So it's basically just a copy of like my Amazon wish list, <laughs> but you can crowdfund things on Throne. Which is cool. Oh my god, my fucking hat. I've arrived out of the butthole. <gasps> is this... Oh! Our queries have been answered. It was a big old... It wasn't just a butte, but a butt. A butte butt. A butt butte. Oasis dragonfly. <gasps> Obviously, I don't have merch of, like, me. It'd be nice to make some stickers or something, though. But the thing is, like, I'm like, w would Hive Mill sell VTuber merch? Yep. Because I, I wouldn't want to have to deal with selling it. <laughs> but more importantly, I should make cat stickers in general. The water is as soon as you like... See, I would assume it would be a, a kind of thing where like as soon as you dip to the other side of the, the polygon, it would be invisible. But it becomes invisible way before that, which I don't understand. Yeah, they probably don't care that much. They'd be like, yeah, that's, that's, that's fine. We don't care. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was assuming. I assumed it was like a backface culling thing, but then it... I don't know. I don't know how video games work, obviously. Okay, so that shit's taken care of. Excellently done. What's this? What the? Uh, cute. Well, it's kind of far away. I should probably just fly to it. Impossible. Impossible. This is more or less the pose I want to make plush him in. Like, kind of looking at you with the tail curled around the front of him like that. I, I, I've drawn some sketches of my first thought of what the plush him should look like, and it's very much like that. Look at him! Oh my god! He is super on his A-game tonight. Also fun. Very cozy. Yeah, it's the kind of thing where, um, if we get like a prototype we like, I'm sure it would be like a Kickstarter. Do a crowdfunding campaign for Cat. Okay, yeah, I might look into Fourth Wall. I, I have been laying out a bunch of my, like, income and expenses for taxes, and I was like, shit, I need to do better. <laughs> I've generally been pretty good until this most recent year and stuff. But I, I could maybe try a little harder to, to make a money save a money. Wait. Oh, well, I've already found the chums on it in any case. Huh. What are you? Have <laughs> I considered crime? One, two, three, 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 three,
I, I'm generally okay at budging and stuff. I, I just got into like a... Bleh, whatever. I got a bit complacent with everything else going on, not thinking about it. But I gotta make the savings. I gotta build my nest egg. Another shippy. Oh, this probably has some kind of cursed puzzle for me. Yeah, I did partly like consciously just be like, fuck it. For, for you know, the time being. I'm doing okay. But then I'm still like, damn. But I should have more, more money and not less though. I should, I need to more, I need to make number go up though. I'm losing at capitalism. Shit. <laughs> Fuck. How dare you not have a chum in there? Alright, where do I get in here? Brunswick. Center of Brunswick? No, I'm a ween. What does winning mean? No one knows. I'm gonna do it though. <laughs> Wait, have I been here? Brunswick sounds familiar, but maybe... They just have, like, a similar name to another one I've seen. How do I know whether I've been here or not? I guess it doesn't have, like, a fast travel point, so I probably haven't. Yeah. Alright, here we go. So this is new. Scrape. Let's see what fucked up puzzle they have for me now, devs. I will send you an email about how your game made me feel. Oh, maybe these are different chunks of the same ship. Also, wait, I feel like I'm a little too big on screen today. There. <laughs> also, uh, in relation to the big news today, y'all have to tell me if we hear any news about what's going to happen with my Oshi VTuber Ruby Rose. If she's going to continue her VTubing activities, we need to find out. Okay, so here's some fucking Mario clockwork level shit. Oh wait, oh wait. I see. Yes, like, I wonder if it's the kind of thing where she might just be able to keep doing that because, like, who's gonna stop her and sue her? <laughs> Warner Brothers doesn't give a fuck anymore. Just have a good time. Okay, so that'll go over there, and you have to... Oh. oh, I might have to leave it in this one. So it can go back and forth. I've played a video games. I'm on to you. <laughs> you forgetting I have this. Amazing. I am the worm master. I am the Kizas Hadarak.
I have said before, um, or I was talking about in the Discord, this is a bit of a, a spoiler for the second... And I forget if it's, it's... I think it's in the second book and not the third of the Dune series. But he becomes a giant sandworm just by like putting a bunch of little sandworms on him until he makes like a giant sandworm suit and then he becomes an immortal sandworm guy. So clearly this is just my first step towards that. I'm working on it. That's three? Okay. Yeah, I forgot if it was children or god emperor. Oh god. Huh. Oh, I probably just need to get on top of it. It's treated very seriously, but like as a thing to imagine, it, it I think it's inherently funny. Like I just imagine it like a bunch of like macaroni pasta looking worms that he's like kind of putting on himself and as socks and stuff. <laughs> and he just does it until he becomes a big old worm man. It's very dramatic. The books get silly. They get so silly. Okay, 20 mon, yeah. Now what? I can't be all that... That's four? It's literally what he does! He puts worms on his feet like socks! And then on his arms like... Cool boy arm warmers. Wait. Well, okay, wait, there's another... Uh... Yeah. See, that's interesting, because I didn't know how much people have, like, talked about it like that, but that's when I stopped reading Dune, was when it started to be, like... I'm just very afraid of women's sexuality. Like, around whatever, like, fourth or fifth book. And I didn't know if that was, like, a take that was common to have about how his work got or not. <laughs> so, is there anything else down here? Yeah, he was also like cool psychic guy with the worms so that they'd be like, cool, I am happy to be your worm socks. <laughs> yeah, to some extent. But like when I stopped reading, it was much more into like um, the the like outright evil sexy cult of ladies. And it, it, it became much more, you know, like textual rather than subtextual kind of vibe. <laughs> Wait, would I be able to float from that platform over there? Hmm. It's very funny because all I remember about those later books is that, and also Duncan Idaho being like just the coolest OC do not steal being, you know, cloned forever because he's just the coolest guy so that he can have adventures all the time <laughs> in endlessly. He just fucking loves Duncan Idaho and he has the stupidest name. I know, it's so funny. It helps when, like, at least the, the one in the new movies is fucking Jason Momoa, so he does actually seem kind of cool despite his stupid name. But in the books, you always imagine him being more like of a, like, boring Harrison Ford white guy kind of vibe. And, he's, and he just is, is like a cowboy called Duncan Idaho, and he's fucking stupid, and he's supposed to be so cool. Duncan. No, I think Patrick Stewart was a different character. Yeah, he was like the trainer guy. I I forget what his name was. It was like Gertie. I don't remember. I, I forget who was Duncan Idaho in the 
that movie and the David Lynch movie. Uh, I say hello to Sarin. Sable, your security clearance has been updated. Please proceed to the whale to authenticate. <gasps> you have unread messages, Sable. I think so. She wants me to go to the whale now. Wait, really? Idaho was just made up out of nothing? I didn't know that. That's cool. That's actually a cool bit of information. Because, I mean, it, you know, at least to R here, it sounds like a totally normal state name. Come on, Sing. Oh, come on, Sing. You know what we're up against. We purge our engines out here. We've got nothing for terraformers. We need to land now. Cram it, Deacon. Wow. Look, every day the radiation's getting worse. I can't keep selling this BS to the crew. And no, I'm not landing on that planet either. We're not landing anywhere until we know more about these atmospheric anomalies. There may be life signs on the surface, but that doesn't mean they're hospitable. But we do need this stuff off the ship, Deacon. Mission be damned. That planet is the whole reason we're here. What is... Why does this have the double... Double carrots? What is this meant to indicate? They lied and told Congress it was an Indian whale. <laughs> that planet is the whole reason we're here. If we don't get those terraformers up and functional, then we came out here for nothing. How's that going to look? Oh, I see. Yeah, it is just a, like a programming error of, of this text box. <laughs> If we go back without completing our objective, you can forget a promotion. You'll be sent to some outworld rock to monitor a relay station. Captain! There's a bit of tense silence after the emphasis on Captain, and I feel as though I'm listening to something I shouldn't. The one called Sing Speaks again. Okay, just once we get within range of the planet, we give Sarin two more days to figure out what's causing the disturbance. I don't want to fly through it if we don't know what it is, but we may not have a choice. Attaboy, Sing. I knew you'd make the right call. Now come on, sit down and have a drink with me. Get the hell out of my room, Deacon. There's some silence, some shuffling, and a faint hiss of air. Then it's just a lonely voice of the captain again. I wonder how long ago all this was. Sarin, override privacy protocol on finance officer Deacon. I want you to keep an eye on him. Yes, captain. And then nothing. No one read messages. Damn. Willing claimed that the name was derived from a Shoshone term meaning the sun comes from the mountains or gem of the mountains, but it was revealed later there was no such term and Willing claimed that he had been inspired to coin the name when he met a little girl named Ida. <laughs> That's awesome! Like, obviously... <laughs> That might be, like, one of the most American things I have ever heard. What the fuck? How do we not all learn this exact story in school? That's so good. What? 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 Oh, God, that's great. It just says so much about us as people, I feel like. All right. Thank you very much, QC, back for the sub. For the resub. I want to go... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait, you. I want to turn in some more of my scraps, see if it's worth anything. I mean, people would still try to pull it, and so, and in some instances get away with it to, like, rubes. But many people would still believe it, even though it was clearly disproven. This is the way with the internet. But I just love that Congress did actually find out and we're like, oh, we have to fix this. Oh, God, it's too late. They already named the springs and everybody knows this. Fuck. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. I feel like maybe I should just go ahead and buy the rest of the merchant. Um, 
badges so I can get the merchant hat. <laughs> it is very sitcom situation. Look at this shit. Has any creature ever been so comfy and please? Pete's. Just amazing. He's doing so much hard work tonight. He's a hardworking boy. Yeah, fucking heating up my computer, filling it with fluff. <laughs> Apparently, I must start every every session with Juru. <laughs> Sometimes I am like, I am very grateful for you know the number of people that show up, and it's it's super cool that you know I have an audience at all. You know, it's very hard to have anything of an audience. And then sometimes I'm like, look at the shit I bring to the table. Look at the shit I bring to the table. You ain't gonna get that from other VTubers. Why would, why am I not the most famous VTuber when I give you the taro? I am your access to the taro. Oh my fucking God, I love him so much. Give me Twitch partner. <laughs> Leggy hang off now. This feels precarious. What's even the point of VTubers if they don't even have the taro? <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of things I don't have to worry about since I'm a smaller indie VTuber. The trap. The spice trap. <laughs> you shan't catch me again. Alright, you. I love that just this one lady gets to be the one source of merchant's badges. <laughs> What a nice grift. <laughs> yeah, I don't have to do that. I don't have to worry about permissions for it. I can just play whatever I want to play. I can emulate things if needed. I don't have to worry about people seeing my stupid flesh bod, because, like, whatever. I'm not trying to be cool and mysterious and sexy. So I can just... just Prioritize showing you the taro. The taro. Sleepy. Look at this fucking leggy. Absurd. Absurd creature. It's so weird to know that he's like actually kind of a skinny cat under there. You'd be so fucking cursed to see shaved. Time to see this weird cutscene. <laughs> I want I want this person to be like, what the fuck are you wearing? <laughs> Jesse, this cutscene is so wrong and it's like framing. It's weird. Oh, you notice that you were falling off? Like, okay, you know, right? Like, dramatic, slow, reach in. Dramatic, slow, reach in. Pull it out. Not revealing the mask yet. Clearly, you have the mask now, but we are not seeing it because we're seeing the back. And now we're doing a dramatic pan up. To the mask you were already wearing, and you're not holding anything. 
You're not holding anything at all pan to the ceiling. What kind of fucking... <laughs> I don't understand why the cutscene is like that. Maybe I should try doing it without a mask on and... No, wait, no, because you can't not have a mask on. You have to have a mask. So there's no way for the cutscene to play out any other way. Yeah, it, it's like it's begging for the end to be a you you put the mask up towards the camera and it does a da 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 da, but it never happens. <laughs> it just never happens. It just goes to the ceiling. I'm gonna go here because I'm gonna try to find the the map person of this chunk. It really feels like a glitch in some way, but I don't know exactly how. Or like, you know, something that they weren't able to finish programming and just kind of had to leave as is. Yeah, see, that's why I was thinking maybe, maybe I'm fucking it up by having a different mask on, but you can't take a, your mask off. So it, it can't possibly, there's, there's no other way for that to go down. What's that up there? I see a thingy up there. Yeah, I do like that aspect of it where it seems like it's like, is this a robot? What is this thing that, that I just reach into and get a mask out of? That part's cool. Yeah, maybe it's something that they just like assume that they would be able to work out later and then it turned out to be like harder than they thought it would be. But they were running out of time and they had to ship that shit. Don't fall down, don't fall all the way down. You can stand on, on this. I believe in you. <laughs> I might still be higher than I was. You know, like I was watching a bit of a uh, Hempley stream last night and, you know, just watching any game, game dev work just really gives you a appreciation for the fact that games are fucking weird and it's crazy that they ever work whatsoever okay i might not be able to manage that quite do i see a balloon anywhere Well, presumably it's the the act of switching it that might have been the issue. Because the fact that they show it as is means they're not like changing the state of your character in any way. But to switch it, they would have to, which could possibly introduce some kind of problem that I don't understand. I feel like there's gotta be a chum up there, goddammit. Yeah. I mean, Unity is especially apparently a fuck, and even just like any game dev. You know, like, um, Hempley last night was working on creating save, just like a save system for his game, and just like the complexities of what it means to save a game. You know, like, he was having to deal with. Especially, like, in a game that isn't, like, Baba is You, where it, it's very easy to just, like, save the state of the levels you've completed and whatnot, and that's all the information you need to save. I feel like we've entered some kind of more yeehaw-ish zone. Yeah, or back when they had, like, um, save codes that you would put in. Yeah, yeah, I know Dylan Goo. Duh! What kind of Ruby Scholar do you think I am? 
Did, did he drop a hot take about the whole rooster teeth thing? Also, Fiend, look at this shit. Oh my god. Wait, did he just post about that on social media? Say, like, we made an offer? What, what, what exactly is the tweet that he made? Or, or the... It show me. I want to know how serious the tone is here. That would actually maybe be an ideal situation. Check my DMs. Show to a minute. Oh, good. People are posting tarot clips. Given the latest developments, I'm seriously interested in acquiring an official ruby from Rooster Teeth. Who should I talk to? Much of our team worked on the original volumes and collaborated directly with Monty. We'd be honored to bring the si series back. Into oh, I see. So he hasn't like made an official offer, but he's officially putting it out there publicly that he is interested in theory. God, I wonder what kind of capital they have, though. Dillingu is someone who worked um, under Monty. That looks like a, a metal version of the worm, almost. He did some of the animations. If you watched Ruby, you would know him from some of Volume 3. Um, and since then, he's done other things. Like, he's done a lot of... He did a lot of fan Genshin Impact animations, and now he's doing, like, official ones for them. No, I absolutely don't think they should continue it from Volume 8 if they were to acquire it. From Volume 9, I mean. I think they should start over. Or even just, like, start over from Volume 3. Since that was, you know, the last time that he was involved and presumably parts of Monty's vision were involved. I, I need to give up trying to get up these mountains. I'm just wasting my time. <laughs> they're like, they're not animations that you would see in the game. They're like side animations, like side content. I did always think that Dylan's animation isn't quite like as snappy as I would like for that kind of Ruby vibe. But he's definitely very skilled. I remember at one point he did like a blender test animation of like a cat girl doing a fight thing. And it made me just like, God, this this rendering looks so much better than Ruby. <laughs> it, it, and it's, you could just do it in Blender and they have all that expensive fucking professional equipment. And this actually has proper anime lighting and shit. Ah! All right, tell me if you see a balloon in the distance. Yeah, him and Shane were like the two people who seemed to most have interacted with Monty and be able to kind of do what Monty was doing under him and that kind of thing. So in terms of people to take it over, Dylan, Dylan is probably like the most obvious person. If you could just like gift Ruby to someone. I hope they're able to work something out. That'd be cool. Why am I still trying? Why am I even still trying? I need more chums. Chums might be up here, but they are not within my reach. Maybe it'd be easier to see the balloon from like one of the other places. Yeah, who knows what the situation was with the monetization of it. Fane, hey! Welcome, welcome! They've always had merch, but apparently they haven't been able to make it profitable. 
but also if they were wasting a, a bunch of less of money because of weird production that, that maybe be fine guys guys that came from saint look at this look at this look at my boy also my daughter but he's being extra bullshit right now he he's putting in the work God, he looks so happy and pleased. <laughs> the boy, the boy. Wait, did my... Okay, my shit found me. Also, hello, we are playing Sable. It's like Breath of the Wild, but in a Mobius-style desert. And just adventuring. No fighting. And much more indie. Okay, this one we haven't done yet, so we need to find the rings. Oh, ring. Thank you very much, John Stewart, for the follow. Oh. Pew. There's this one. And then I guess we just hope we happen to see the next one. Oh. Blech. No, yeah, and like clearly Dylan Goo n knows about budgeting and 3D animation for like, you know, not infinity dollars. He knows how to actually, like, control the scope of a project to actually be viable. It'd be perfect. Okay, I definitely haven't gone wherever the fuck this is. Oh god, I'm terrified I wouldn't be able to get up there with my current amount of stamina. If Dylan got it, I have no idea. I, I don't know how he personally feels about you know, all the places it's gone since then. And if he would want to ennoble them at all, ideally he would reboot it. Or at least reboot it from Volume 3. Maybe I can get up there. God, this place looks good, though. The Badlands. So I just need to figure out if I can make an initial ascent somewhere. Those those plants still fucking kill me. Like I I know it's it's an indie thing and stuff, but it kills me that you can see the texture. You can see the line where the texture went like a few pixels too too far. And so all these weird little diglet silhouettes have have that line above them. It's it's just funny. It's very funny. You need to come back here when I'm more powerful. I wonder what Dylan would have to say about the idea Monty planned out everything we've seen. It's all Monty's vision. Yeah, see, he could talk about that kind of thing probably more than they could admit. You could at least be like, um, no, everything that you saw was not. Why would you think that? <laughs> yeah, d the fact that they've expressed interest in buying it, I definitely wouldn't assume that they have like any realistic chance of doing so. It just is a cool theoretical proposition. Okay, so. Should be looking in that direction in theory. Urgh. Gonna get any higher.
Yeah, I have no idea what the, what Warner's considers like a reasonable asking price for Ruby. Who knows? Oh, I, I guess I could start from the top of the hive, because we know how to get up there in theory. Hmm. Wait, maybe we can just get up outside, though. <laughs> Look, I mean, it will always exist. We'll always remember it. Let us have a really, you know, like, beautiful philosophical discussion about Ruby here at the top of this mountain, wearing my worm face. All is bliss. It's like if I could get up there from here, but I think it's too far away. With my towel. God, this stuff looks so interesting. I want to be able to get up there. I'm I'm personally salty enough about the bullshit that they've pulled regarding Ying and Blake that I wish that it hadn't sailed. <laughs> But that's my own personal salt. I should be happy for the fans that they weren't gay baited all the way till the end, but alas, I still salt. Okay, yeah, there's no way I'm getting up there. Okay, I have to, I have to do something else. I just have to do, try to do something else. What, what quest we got ongoing? Uh, I should return to sand dip now that the power is back. Oh, easy. Look, Blake X Adam folks are like I mean, besides besides being probably what Monty was, uh, you know, like I don't care about their opinion. <laughs> oh, I'm sure they've all been archived sufficiently. Pe people have them. I don't think there's any chance of them being lost to forever to the internet. Oh, Glider, you did a brilliant job getting the power back on. I don't know if you could hear it, but there was a tremendous noise. The whole town was delighted. You kin Adam Taurus. Oh, right, that video. <laughs> uh, on a day's work. Your work is appreciated and you are valued. Now, he leans in. How about a little investigation? Any useful evidence? Oh, that's right. Um, Make an accusation. Who's the culprit then? Wait, I, I probably I probably shouldn't. I haven't decided yet. Um, it was that like what your ship says about you, but for Ruby. And and if it was uh Blake X Adam, it was you can Adam Taurus. <laughs> oh my god, the beans. What can I do for you, Sable? But I, I do think in early times it was Adam was supposed to be more of like a mixed bag super edgy guy that like you could theoretically still ship her with you know like very edgy cool boy romance he's going too far for her but she still cares about him blah 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 you know because of how like early on blake drew her in his uh, drew him in her fucking journal and stuff <laughs> i think that was kind of the original dynamic they were theoretically gonna have but but then he got more and more just like shit boy abusive, boring, didn't even care about it, the, anything but abusing Blake. <laughs> uh, goodbye. I should probably go do more investigation. Yeah, 
Yeah, I, I mean, it's like, obviously, if I suddenly got the property by some weird lottery, I, I would reboot it with some of the concepts, but, you know, like, start over from the beginning and try to work in more of what I consider the core character appeals and stuff. He's gray morality, but he also is, like, stupid gray morality. <laughs> With his, what about this? <laughs> I'm trying to remember where the machinist was. Yeah, that's the other reason Dylan Gu would be a good person to acquire it, is because, like, I assume he doesn't have a bunch of on record hatred of what has happened with Ruby. He seems like a professional in that way. Well, yeah, you got to have the transforming weapons. That's one of the actual important things. Yo, yo, Sicko. Okay, yeah, I hear you about the Batman shop, but where, where's Machinist guy, if you happen to remember? Like, what general side of the thing is he on? He's around the outside, okay. <laughs> oh, Jello. You really screwed the pooch. Oh! I see a mask glaring through the slit with a statue like stillness. Show me the eyes. I wait a moment, unsure if I really heard something. The mask is not forthcoming. I need... Wait, how do I... What, what, what? Ronim's mask! It's you! I don't recognize this person at all. <laughs> you just got a sluggy mask. The Shade of Ecria, a legend of this awful town. I am so absolutely delighted to finally meet you. I've been waiting at this post for a long time now. Oh, you look surprised. We've never met, but you left all your gear with Gramps, remember? Can I have my stuff back? Of course, I have no use for it. It's all yours for some spookily reasonable prices. I begin to object at having to purchase my own stuff back when they interrupt me immediately. Hold up! Their tone has shifted from sickeningly saccharine to direct and a matter of fact. Firstly, don't fool yourself for a second that I don't know you aren't the original Shade. Secondly, your previous incarnation dumped all this gear here with Gramps. He might have been besotted with the Shade, but I am not. No, not one bit. You can't leave stuff here for however many years and not expect to pay at least interest in storage fees. <laughs> I begin to realize what I initially thought was a del as delight to see the shade was actually delight at the opportunity to empty my wallet. Here's what you left. Okay. Oh, whoa. It's like big weird buggy thing. <gasps> Ninja outfit. Gimme. Give Gimme. Give Obviously, I don't have much to sell or whatnot. <gasps> These are worth 30. That ain't bad. That's actually very good. But still not enough for shit. Alright, well obviously we have to... I am the knight. Oh, it really is like, I'm like a common rider thing, I guess, to some extent, because I'm like a bug person. Bug hero. Bug Batman. Hey, hey. Wait here, what, what if, what if I actually were with my classic, there, that, that's pretty sick. That's a good look. Yeah, we're talking about classic style Kamen Rider. Da. Obviously things have varied since then. Ha. Wait. 
They pass you up. Oh. Hamza says hello. What can I do for you, Glider? Why would you put Hamza says hello in Nerish? <laughs> This fucking game. Uh, I have some questions about the power cut. What do I want to ask? Any idea why someone might have taken the core? He crosses his arms and looks down, thinking on it. Power is the lifeblood of everything we do as Machinists, and our work exists to uplift the past and secure the future. Power supports the machines, and machines are bound to the people. I nod, listening. If you want to take power from people, then you wish to make people powerless. So I think you'll be looking for someone who cares- Oh wait! We've talked to Hamza about this, actually. Yeah, he he thought Iria did it. So we've just kind of gone in circles blaming different people, I guess. Maybe we need some other kind of evidence or something. Hmm. Okay, bye, weird little chuny outfit person. <laughs> I have all the evidence. Maybe I should talk to the guy about it and see if he has anything to say about it. Ain't I a stinker? I could just blame Iria for her other crimes. Yeah? Hella. I did also, Taro fucked with my cords and I had to unplug and replug it. I, I actually look like, it looks like I'm in the red a bit, audio wise. I'm gonna crank myself down a little. Clearly Taro fixed it. <laughs> he broke it, but then fixed it. Let's see, um, discuss physical evidence. There was a feather on the floor. I tell him about the feather I saw on the floor of the heart and suggest the culprit may have left it behind. I say it might have been an accident and then I pause a moment with some drama and whisper that it could also be a calling card. As long as you aren't clipping hitting zero. Okay. Ba 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 <laughs> What did you find when you searched the heart? I found a note. I tell him that I found the note on the floor and that it lists the debts owed to the merchants. Was this left there on purpose, I wonder aloud, or did the foolish culprit drop it by accident? Sandit steeples his fingers with interest. I also found there was no damage to the socket. Except for the damage that we found to the socket. I explained that the socket for the core was in perfect condition, flawless, even to one such as myself who is decidedly not an expert. I posit that whoever removed the core knew that what they were doing and didn't want to damage it. Sandip seems to like the sound of this. Hmm. I mean, I guess that would point towards it maybe being Machinistman. Let's go through the case against Hamza. What's his motive? Um. I don't know. He owed money. He was in debt to the merchants. They sent people to ransack his workshop to frighten him into paying up. Did that happen? Okay. How did he do it? He had the security code and keycard. He understands machines. That doesn't make him guilty. He's a machinist. Who do you want to discuss? Wait a second. He owed money. He had the security code and keycard. He had the security code so he could just walk in the door. Who do you want to discuss? <laughs> hmm. Merchant Iria. Iria is very powerful. We have a very hard time building a strong case against her. What's her motive? To profit from the panic. Yes, people have definitely been stocking up since it happened. How did she do it? She got someone else to do it. Well, I can't imagine her doing it herself. And she has an alibi. Who do you want to discuss? Is it... Let's see. Okay, we talked about Gary. What's his motive? Someone paid him to do it. People say you're doing anything with money. This is a good lead. How did he do it? He's a climber. He climbed. Is there an actual correct answer here? I will ask. Hold it. Hold up. Hold up. 
so I can just choose who I want to be guilty? That's infuriating. Look at this fucking guy! Well then obviously I got a frame area. Make an accusation. I, I guess we'll see how it plays out once I make an accusation. Accuse Merchant Iria. I'm excited to explain how Iria benefited by rigging the Marcus after the power was lost in the town. How she exploited the power cut to create scarcity and to raise prices in people's desperation. My excitement is curtailed by the way Sandip sighs halfway through my explanation. I say that I don't think Iria herself did the crime and he looks even more resigned. My case seems to be falling apart. What? Hmm, this is a tricky situation. I can't arrest Iria. That's not how things work in Ekria. Even if you had some kind of indisputable evidence, which you don't, this isn't going anywhere. Boo! Thank you for your help anyway, Glider. Maybe it's best you don't tell anyone about our little discovery here. One last thing for your troubles. Guards badge. Take care, Sable. So no matter who you said did it, he would just be like, let's do nothing about it and cover it up. Oh, I guess they might have arrested the climber guy if he if I pegged him. With the machinist he calls his ass in jail. I mean, I guess this is the least bad ending considering we don't we don't actually have a way to solve the crime. But I mean, obviously as someone who likes mysteries and stuff, it is infuriating to me that this crime has no actual answer. Someone did it. Pick someone, Ryder! <laughs> it's a murder on the Orient Express situation. Well then. Wait, let's do this shit. Let's try to find this. I met Elizabeth at an Ekring guard. Okay, I gotta go to a place that's at the Badlands to the southwest of Burnt Oak Station. God, that reminds me of how thinking about like menu design, I don't think about it super often, but it reminded me of how in Pokemon uh, Scarlet Violet, the menus were just like blatantly nothing they were just like you know semi-transparent black with white text and there was there was no time spent trying to make them look like anything <laughs> oh shit well Southwest. I guess I'll just go southwest and hope we find something. Some kind of bridge to Terabithia. Punk. <laughs> oh, also, Sicko, um, where. Where do I find the person that I'm supposed to learn more about fish from? <laughs> He's sphinxing. Very polite pause. Holy sheet bridge to Terabithia, I read that in Yiri. Oh my god. I only know it back when the movie was coming out and they had like trailers for it. Upper left of the white part. Oh, like there? upper left of the lower white part. Oh, here. It's like here. Oh, 
or more like is it more like A or more like B? Yeah, I have no idea how the actual story goes down or anything. I don't know anything about it. Oh. That probably is a better idea. Vivarium. Oh, it's a whole, like, fucking place. Okay. I feel like I'm just going back to, to the same things. And, and I'm not seeing anything that looks like an obvious bridge or whatever. I see balloon. Wait, 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 whoa, 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 whoa! Please be the the Badlands balloon. Wait, draw to a minute. Draw to a minute. <laughs> I should be able to get extra climbing in because I am bug. I'm a sneaky little bug. These little wings give me lift. Where, where's that? Kit, Kit, can you post it here in the chat? Because, yeah, that might be better than just trying to go around all these random little... What? Where'd that... Where... Where's that balloon? Where'd it go? Okay. I ran too far. I ran too far away. I ran on that and day. Okay, wait, I'm gonna see it again. Triangle. Oh, it's my stamina. <laughs> okay, but apparently the bridge of the betrayed is more like over here ish. Where are you? Oh. Yeehaw! <laughs> this bike looks so inappropriate for my aesthetic that I now have going. We. Seeing if I can get another glimpse of that thing. Oh. That's probably it. <laughs> Cookbook. Cockbook. Bridge of the Betrayed. Maybe I need to get up on it. Oh, it's very tall. 
It's very tall. Looks like that's more climbable zone. I'ma get uppy. I must get uppy. Why would you make this bridge like this? God, I should try making ramen from scratch someday. That would be really interesting. So this might be the main way to start getting up here. Did, did I not say making ramen from scratch? What did I say? But yeah, I, I mean like, I mean not, you know, from complete scratch, but like kind of making the, the broth from ingredients and stuff. Making scratch from ramen. I might have said that. I'm so fuck of sicking. <laughs> Ooh. I'm definitely imagining, like, you know, getting different broth ingredients and just getting the noodles from, like, the freezer section of the Asian market. Oh yeah, I bet there's a lot of chums around here. I gotta ch keep my chum eyes peeled. <gasps> Motherfuck. Yeah, yeah. Oh! <laughs> it was waiting for me to mention it. I know what I want to draw for this monthly wallpaper that I'm going to work on tonight, and it's going to be very chums inspired, but legally distinct. Look, I do, I was talking about this with my therapist today. I want to get back into trying like once a, a week making like a meal, maybe like for the family. Because <laughs> we were talking about like, my parents have always both been shit cooks, and there's a lot of my like associations I have with different food that I think are very much like based on you know growing up eating their food <laughs> that are unfortunate <laughs> and especially now that that like mom doesn't have a lot of time and stuff a lot of the meals that she makes are very like shit and kind of flavorless and whatnot like she she makes burgers with a Ger George Foreman grill and every time I find out that, that we're having burgers, I'm like, oh. Oh, maybe I should just ask to not eat with them tonight and, like, I'll bring my own food or something. Because it's going to be, like, weird, gritty burgers with no flavor. And I will be sorry. There's a fucking... <laughs> There's a staircase! When did this get here? Whoa. Yeah, my dad was okay at cooking some things back when he could. But even he, like, very much overestimated his cooking abilities. And, and neither of them ever knew much about, like, making delicious vegetable dishes or anything. She'll never know. I think she already knows I don't like her burgers, though. <laughs> I've mentioned in the most polite way I could that they're always kind of like dry and overcooked seeming. Like, okay. Is this something anyone else has ever heard from their parents? Like, my dad would make like uh, pork in, in, in like uh, cream of mushroom broth or whatever like cook it on a skillet like in in the broth and he would say you just got to keep cooking it longer and the more and the longer you cook it the more tender and moist it is but like it would always turn out dry as fuck so that's clearly not fucking true <laughs> I 
I don't know why they thought that was a thing. Yeah, I was like, but then is if it's so fucking dry, that has to be overcooked, right? And they'd be like, no, it wasn't cooked long enough. <laughs> And, and then later in life, I found out that pork can actually be moist, and it's very exciting. Oh, do I have to, like, switch sides to start climbing? Oh, wait. Maybe not. Yeah, but this, uh, look, th that's one thing, and that's definitely what my mom does. But my dad likes rare steaks and stuff. He was just legitimately convinced for some reason that, like, if a meat is in something moist then clearly you just have to cook it longer and longer and then it will be even more good and moist <laughs> oh wait shit i can't climb that shit fuck look my oh, oh there's stairs that go up there being certain of their bad meat cooking opinions is a classic dad. This trait. is true. It is very dad of my dad. These fucking fake ass doors. Like, obviously, he was convinced he was incredibly good at barbecuing and all that stuff, like any Texas dad. <laughs> he was better at it than making pork. He would not. <laughs> Though, love to give directions. Still loves to give directions. And we'd be like, Dad, we're just going to follow Google Maps. We're just going to follow Google Maps. You're, you're talking and talking right now, and you're telling us lots of things about roads to take, and we are not going to remember anything that you're saying right now. We're just going to use Google Maps. But he would keep going. <laughs> Maybe I just need to jump from a really high place to get to that jump. Oh, oh. See, oh, we might be able to glide from here. Hello. Elizabeth greets me. Oh, you decided to join me. I want to see you. I wanted to see the view. I forgot you'd be here. <laughs> I want to see the view. You got good taste then. And I've got good news because even though I've been standing up here taking it all in, there's still plenty of you left for you. I laugh a little and she pats my arm. I hope you didn't have any trouble with the climb. I tell her no and ask how she managed. Been keeping pretty spry all these years, not to mention the views all the motivation an old ladybird like me needs. Thank you, though, little glider. You're a good one. Oh, that's right. She doesn't, like, only um, people like me can do the glowy bubble thing, right? So she actually has to climb with the theoretical capability of falling to her death. <laughs> I'd like to give you this with my gratitude, given our present location, but it does seem a little on the nose, perhaps, but... Guards badge! With a quick nod to the great statue looming behind her, Elizabeth hands me a guards badge. I flip it over in my hand, rubbing my thumb across his face, and I thank her for it. Oh, it's a little token, but suppose it's also something to think about on your gliding, eh? The guards life treats me well enough, and if you ever fancy giving your oath, that badge gets you one step closer. I picture myself in a guards mask. It is odd, but not absurd. Would I be any good? <laughs> I want to participate in corruption. Take care now, friend. Perhaps I'll see you along my next travels. Think about a visit to the wash, you know, so if you ever happen to glide on by... I cheerfully promise her I will keep an eye out. One more thing, if you do go to the guard route, I perk up. She turns and gestures to the statues again. Aim to be the one with the high ground. When he's angled, the fellow coming up from the bottom doesn't stand a chance. We share a warm goodbye and I go on my way. I mean... What, you think you're a fucking tactical master for pointing out that this guy is at the disadvantage of this guy? No shit. <laughs> no shit. I see another chum up there. 
Make sure you're the one with the boot that's doing the stepping. But like literally, not metaphorically. Okay. Stamina. Stamina. Give me friends. I bet you're like, hey, little kid. Ha ha ha. How's it going? Ha. Ah. Is how I probably should have done her voice. What? Ha ha ha. That's great. Hey. I'm a rough and tumble cool gal. <laughs> <laughs> Femme dad voice. Yeah, yeah. Hey, little slugger. Haha. <laughs> Give her one here. Hey, junk, don't get excited ahead of time. I can't do that shit all the time. I'm gonna still eat my frozen burritos. You can't stop me. I see that treasure chest. You're not my mom. If you were my mom, you would be feeding me shitty burgers. <laughs> that make me crave the sweet embrace of a frozen burrito. Okay, let's see. Looks like I should be able to get up over the lip here. Who are these birds? Who's bird calling? Show to me the bird. Oh, I guess it's all of them. Asked and answered. Sunset die. Cuckoo. Oh, but that roof has the same kind of lip. So I, I can't climb directly onto it. I'd have to like climb up to this guy, maybe. Mm-hmm. But wait, looks like maybe there's stuff over here. Maybe not so much stuff. Wait. What else going on over here? I feel a suggestion enter my mind. When the swords cross, stand face to face. It's amazing what you'll find face to face. Do it harder, make it better, move it faster, makes us stronger. <laughs> Obviously, uh, these guys have swords that are like crossed or whatever. Maybe I just have to get up on their faces. This guy has those two things of light that kind of look like he, like they could be eyes going No. X. Oh, for the cross swords maybe. Wait, there's a lip there. I'ma climb it. You can't stop me. I'ma get so fucking tall. Alright. Wait, wait, where's the thing with it? Still up there. Okay. Uh, I guess let's just work our way up this leg. Seems a decent place to start. Wait, let's look at his face. Yo, face boy. 
face and air goes, whoa, whoa. Oops. Oh God, please don't have auto kill if, if, if please don't auto kill me. Okay, okay, okay. I think it's okay. I was terrified it was going to Elden Ring my ass. Don't yell at me. It's not my fault. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I guess in, in a game with no death, they wouldn't have that kind of mechanic. I don't know what they would do if they have some kind of like unstuck mechanic. I guess they just figure you can use fast travel if you get in that kind of situation. Yeah, maybe we gotta climb the sword. That's the coolest thing to do anyway. Very anime. Oh god. Everything is working as normal. This is fine. I'm not gonna be able to get it. Oh god. No, I don't have quite enough stamina. No. Wait, maybe I got it. Maybe I'm going to get it. No. Motherfuck. Motherfuck. Wait, I, I was so close, though. I was so close. Oh, did you see another chum somewhere? That wasn't the one that I know about on the roof? Come on, come on, come on, come on. <gasps> Don't fall off. Don't fall off. No, Taro, you finally had enough of, of the warm box. Thank you for being so amazing. Thank you for being so amazing. I love you. Oh, I love you. Where are you from? All right. <laughs> that chum. I will come to you, my chum. I'm going to make it to you. From... <laughs> God damn it. I can't. I can't. I'm never ready for it. I'm just never ready for it. It's so powerful. This is perfect. This is exactly where I want to be. Fuck! Get up on there. I can at least get the chum, god damn it. It's amazing what you'll find face to face. That's certainly a shape over there. It's not the whale, is it? Motherfuck. This is folly. Literally. Like F A L L Y. Maybe I need to go about it a different way. That chum will be mine, goddammit. Wait, I was trying to use a lighter voice this stream. That chum will be mine, goddammit. I am a reformed person and will not be bothering my neighbors. I'm trying to see if this, like, grades up slightly. Oh. This is the key. This is the key. <laughs> the 
sudden strum. God damn it. How'd you do all this without getting any more chum, sicko? <laughs> you love this game so much, you really wanted me to play it. And you did so little of it, apparently. Look at it. It's mocking me. It will be mine. I'm feeling good about this. Maybe I shouldn't be feeling good about this, though. God damn it. This is bullshit. Chum. Consolation chum. Wait, so to do this, do I not have to climb up the statues? solved it. I solved it. Is this like a time of day thing? Like when they cross- when their shadows cross or something? Monumental stone bottoms. <laughs> oh my god. Amazing. Amazing. Fuck you, puzzles. What I don't need to figure you expect. out. I don't need to figure out shit. I can't read. I'm gonna try one more time to climb these statues. Just one more time. I was so close. Wait, maybe I can go up this knee. Damn, that is a monumental stone bottom, girl! Girl, damn! Okay, wait. What the fuck? Fuck you. Okay, I gotta go to the lady that knows about fish. I need the dish on the fish. I'm an amazing puzzle solver. Oh, thing, place. Teach me about the fish. I will put them on my dish. Punk. How are we doing on 52 chums? So I guess I, I just need eight more to turn them in? That's not too bad. It will happen. Yeah, like, I feel like 
We had in the past used the George Foreman grill for like not food crimes, but I feel like specifically for burgers, it tends to just take all of the good parts out and leave you with a crumbly sorrow bucket, sorrow pile. I'm sure it's fewer calories. I'm sure it is. Oh, unclimbable. What, you want me to like find a door or something? Fuck you. Heyo! I miss you, Clarice. Take my George Foreman, please. Ooh -hoo -hoo. Hello? I say hello to researcher Cussy. Welcome to the Great Vivarium! The person at the desk greets me with open arms, which they lower with some avian flourish. I feel very greeted. You're a glider, aren't you? I am. You'll like this place, I'm sure of it! They take a breath like they're not sure of it, and I let them speak. I'm Cassie, and I'm the proprietor of this vivarium. It's good to meet you. Sable. Sable, that's a great name. I'm Cassie. Or, I said that, didn't I? Sorry, forget that. Welcome to the vivarium, a home for animals small and smaller, from the sleekest fish to the most fragile butterfly, and everything in between, which is mostly plants and rocks. Yeah, they got the fish mask. Fish. I know, it's it needs a bit of work, but I'm new at this. It sounds like she smiles, if nervously. Wasn't long ago I finished my own gliding. That's funny that she went from they to she so quickly. <laughs> I can't imagine being done with my gliding. I'm wrapping up soon, I think. Congratulations. I congratulate Cassidy on finishing her gliding and on creating such a lovely vivarium. It's a place that feels very happy. Cassie thanks me and then looks at me very sincerely. If I can give you one piece of advice? When you think you're done thinking about what you want to do, think again, because I was supposed to be an angler, and now here I'm in a vivarium, researching all the fish I was too unskilled to catch. Wasn't much for butterflies, either. I'll keep that in mind. Cassie crosses her arms and observes me for a moment, then seems to get an idea. You know, maybe this is getting ahead of myself, but I was thinking about how this sort of thing, this collecting thing, might be a good task for a glider. Oh. Because I've been thinking about how the world's worst angler and butterfly catcher, me, can't really be counted on to fill this vivarium forever. I tell her I'm interested. Well, I mean, I don't have badges to give away or a mask or anything, but what if we just did it for fun? No, give me money. Like, if you got some spare time and you feel like fishing, bring whatever you catch. Or you pluck a butterfly out of the air, perfect. I'll make a home for it. And then who knows, maybe someday I'll be a, it'll be a real glider task. <laughs> that sounds good. Perfect, then I guess onward glider to fish and also to bugs. A classic glider phrase. And if you got anything with you already, I'd be happy to take a look at that too. What do I want to discuss with Cassie? Hand in some fish. I hand over the fish and Cassie lights up. Thank you, Sable. Great stuff. I'll get them in the tanks. Oh, I, I have to just hand over everything I have. And in some butterflies. Her dialogue was made later than the rest. She was part of a free big update. Oh, that added like fishing and everything. Yoshi says hello. I tell Cassie that Yoshi sends his regards. She lights up and I really like to see it. Yoshi, oh no! She's laughing. Oh no, are you are you an apprentice of his? Or, or no, you- Ah, no. Did he tell you how terrible I was when he was trying to teach me? Oh yes. I tell Cassie that Yoshi did say that, but I ensure that my tone conveys his. Well, I'm glad he hasn't changed. Honestly, I'm pleased he says hello because I sort of... It's not even that I thought he'd be disappointed even. Just thought he might forget. I shake my head and tell Cassie what Yoshi told me, and the compliments make her get smaller and smaller behind her hands. But I can tell they fill her up with a particular joy. She shakes her head and flaps her hands when I tell her the worst of it. Yoshi is proud of her. I hate to hear that. She laughs. 
or no, I don't. I really, it's nice. It actually is really nice. I'm just, you know, it's, it's really nice. Ugh. Do you ever feel like it's hard to hear nice things about yourself? Always. <laughs> Cassie nods and sighs calmer than before. I'm glad you get it. And thanks, Sable. You really made my day. What do I want to discuss with Cassie? Do you know where I can catch fish? Generally, but I've always actually got my old angler notes handy. Be happy to trade for them if they're of interest. Here's what I got. Aha. Aha. Yum. 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 I must have all of them. Scabby fish. Well, here's some of these, obviously. Pebble eye. I think that's one of the ones I had to get. Pillfish. Sandray! Sandray! Oh, yeah, time. Because for some reason they decided, or they weren't able to make your, your mouse not control the camera when you're using the menu in the inventory. It's always like this. It's always like this. <laughs> It's horrible. Alright, I used all my money, but... Okay, so does she only take one of each of my different things? I never found the person to give these husks to, now that I think about it. This camera thing is so fucking stupid. <laughs> All right. No, I don't need to buy my own bugs back from you. I swear sometimes like I'll see a certain number on sale. Oh, the merchant has a particular amount of money. Oh. That's what's been confusing me. I see. All right, I have all the fish stuff. Fish specimen report. Oh, that's good. Okay. Merchants have way more. I see. Take care, Sable. Enjoy your gliding. Okay, then where can we see them in, in some kind of containment or whatever? I definitely should have come here sooner, alas. What? Oh. This is a tank. I am not climbing on the air. I'm also not sure if it's the kind of thing where I have to leave and come back for them to like spawn in, you know? Here, maybe I'll fast travel back to here. That would be very understandable if so. Hup. Oh, here they are. Grab. Yeah. Excellent, excellent. So that's where the butterflies go. And then the fish. There they are. I see, so so it'll put a bunch of them in there even if you get just gave her one. <laughs> Little kickers. This raises a lot of questions, like, what are they in here? Invisible sand? That is strange. See-through sand. Glass. 
Wait, aren't ant farms... Don't you just have them in dirt and then there's like glass on either side and they make holes so you can see them? Like tunnel, you can see where the tunnels are? Where's everyone besides... Also, he's like, what? What? There's like the storm fish and such. Why do you have so many kickers specifically? Oh, they actually, oh, they go all the way over the <laughs> Little kiki. <laughs> Little kiki. Pleasing. Oh. A blue goo ant farm? That sounds like the kind of ant farm that like aliens might have, like some kind of a alien ant farm. Eddie, are you okay? <laughs> ah. Well, this one's ominous. I guess maybe this is a biome I haven't been to yet. Ow! <laughs> oh, there we go. Okay, yeah, this is a whole big place. There's my friends. There's the idiot fish. <gasps> Sammed. A blork? <laughs> Very nice. Okay, that goes outside again, so I just gotta check that one last room. And then I'll call it a night. <laughs> Yeah, I like that it seems like Cassie for this is like, it's just a hyperfixation she picked up. Hashtag relatable. Well, Blathers is very knowledgeable and stuff. He just is creeped out by bugs. This is another place we haven't really gotten much for. I, I, I like the color hues here, though. Shooba dooba dooba doo boop, booba doo boop, booba doo boop. Ow! You have to go listen to that now. Anyways, thank you all for coming. I think we made some very important progress today, but most importantly. Most importantly. Fish head. Not fish head. Worm head. What is off the wall? Is, is that is that an alien ant farm album? I know that uh, Todd in the Shadows did a video about them as, as part of his like one hit wonder series. Oh, <laughs> sorry. Yeah, I'm not I'm not as familiar with Michael Jackson's like full albums and like what songs were on what albums and whatnot. Oh, thank you very much, Nolo98, for uh the follow. Fran say bye to everybody from Fran say Austin Manyanya. Love you, Fran. Oh I love you. Anyway, you're okay with the tell us that you're okay with the